The immune system is a living and highly organized part of our biological structures. It protects against disease by identifying and killing pathogens that have breached our exterior surfaces. The cells of our immune system are highly trained killers. They communicate and work together, showing no mercy to any potential harmful microorganism that dare enter our bodies. There are many organs that make up the framework for our immune system. Such organs include the adenoids and tonsils, lymph nodes, thymus and spleen, Peyer's patches, bone marrow, and the appendix. Our bone marrow is the center of our immune system. Hematopoietic stem cells, also known as HSCs, are located in our bone marrow. They produce all of our blood cells, including the leukocytes, or white blood cells, that make up our immune system. HSCs are self-renewing. When they multiply, at least some of the daughter cells remain as HSCs so that the stem cells are not depleted. The differentiation of these stem cells depends on what our individual bodies require. On average, billions of red blood cells are created each day. But in certain instances, like when we are ill, a higher quantity of white blood cells will be created to serve our immediate need. There is question as to whether or not some of these organs are vestiges left behind in our body through the process of evolution. The tonsils, for example, are home to lymphocytes that release antibodies during throat infections. There is also substantial evidence that shows the appendix is a valuable part of our immune system. Well, newsflash, you do need your appendix. Some great research was just done, and what they basically found is that the appendix actually can be a little reservoir for the good bacteria that live in your intestines, that it can release when it needs to, such as in cases of diarrhea or infection or something like that. It is true that we can live without these organs, but it does not mean they are not useful. We can also live without our eyes, our ears, and our arms and legs. But this does not prove that we do not need them.